Hello everyone and welcome back to um, How to Draw Dragons with Dragon Story. This particular video is a little bit more of an advanced project. We are drawing a noble dragon, one of the noble dragons from my world. Um, and, and so this phase, so we've already done the rough sketch phase, the line work phase, and then the refined line work phase. So this is, this is what it looks like when the line work has been refined. So now what I do next is I just block in some basic shadows, just like a kind of a quick shadow pass. Um, and, and it's just to kind of get a sense of the lighting and, um, you know, what, what our form and volume is. And so I still just create this on the exact same layer because all the layers of sh uh, shading end up building on top, which ends up giving it the look. So I'm not creating a new layer or anything. I'm just drawing on the exact same layer. So what I do is then I make... My brush size a little bit bigger. Oh, just a reminder, vine charcoal brush. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll keep the light pretty simple. Like, you know, maybe the light's coming from this direction. Um, we won't get too tricky, at least with this video. And I'll just come in here and, you know, try and map out what what's in the shadows. And I just undid it. There we go. And I don't mind if some of this is coming outside of the line because I, I kind of do a cleanup pass in the end. And I'm usually a lower jaw, a cheekbone, bone horn kind of. Oh man, why did I draw so many main scales? Because what's tough about those is you want to maintain the detail, but with each layer, there's like a, a little bit of depth. And so you go, you need to make sure it's like all shaded in, but it requires, my process ends up usually doing a lot of erasing. I would probably pick up on some of that. Maybe. I don't know why I like drawing upside down. And maybe it's just the way I draw the it's just the way I draw the curves. Shorten my brush. I'll make the brush a little bit smaller, then come in with a little bit more fine-tuned details. I shouldn't say details; just a little bit more attention to the the shading and the lighting. You know, like if the lights coming from that way. The back of each one of these probably has a little bit of shading going on. And there's, there'll still be more shading that goes on, um, you know, when I get to the, the final pass, but. And so this is actually a uh, pretty quick, pretty quick and simple. Um, I, I just like keeping this as a separate phase because it's a way I block out the, um, the shading and the lighting. Um, and so really it's, as we get into the fine details that, it, it, I'll really finish it, but this is what I would call phase four, basic shading and lighting. So thanks for watching. Be sure to tune into the next video where I will start getting into texturing. Thanks for watching.